now let us try to understand a very important difference uh, between the environment subscriptions and instances in SAP BTP. So the very first thing which comes with BTP is the environment. You have to first choose the environment before you start developing anything in BTP, whether you want to build applications or workflows or services or microservices or use some kind of services available out of the box like HANA database or PostgreSQL. The first thing you choose is an environment. An environment constitutes actually the platform as a service offering for BTP. It allows development and administration of business applications. So the first thing you, you will think about as a developer is what technology I'm planning to use. So if you're planning to use technology, for example, Java or Node.js, in that case, you will choose perhaps the Cloud Foundry environment because that's, that provides the runtime for running Java and Node.js. If you want to develop applications which are highly scalable, in that case, you will go with Kima runtime environment because it is powered by Google Kubernetes. Google Kubernetes it sets itself is a very big, powerful platform which allows you to scale your applications to to very large extent. Suppose your company wants to support or build a application, something like Amazon, where you have billions of users coming and connecting to your application. In that case, you want auto scaling and a lot of other features which Kubernetes offers. In that case, you'll go with Kima environment. But if my team doesn't have expertise on Node.js or Java, then, and I just have ABAP development team working classic ABAP, they just know basics of ABAP or maybe ABAP on HANA to some extent. So in such case, I can go with ABAP environment where I am able to also run ABAP programs directly on BTP in a very controlled manner. So we have courses for all three environments with, with Anubhav trainings. So you can go ahead and check our website anubhavtrainings.com to find course on ABAP on cloud and also we have BTP with Cloud Foundry. We do have the trainings individually on that. So VTP offers three environment, ABAP, Cloud Foundry, and Kima environment. Some existing customers still use something called a Neo environment. So the Neo environment is basically the one where the infrastructure was built by SAP itself. So SAP already had done investment on servers and computers, buying the hardware, and, and that's where they had their own infrastructure, which is called Neo. But it's no longer offered, maybe down the line after five years, six years, you you will see nobody will talk about Neo. Today, if you look at the market penetration, majority of the customers are using Cloud Foundry environment. That, that's what the market penetration as of now, what I'm seeing in the industry. Coming to the next service, which SAP BTP offers is called subscriptions. So subscriptions based services, you will see these ones are called software as a service or multi-tenant application. Multi-tenant means if you talk about cloud, any customer who onboard into the cloud as a, as a group or as a, as a company is called a tenant. Why it's called a tenant? Just think about, a, think about a hostel or a PG. So what do you do in PG or a hostel? You share your room with somebody else, right? So you are, it's, you are not owning that PG. You are not owning that hostel. You just come here for study or job search and you're living there for some time. So, and you're going to perhaps go, go back to your home, your permanent home after some period of time, once your purpose is fulfilled. So you are a tenant in, in a similar manner in a cloud, any group of user or a company who enrolls the services in the cloud are called tenant. Why they, they need to be uh, differentiated? Because data of each tenant is different. So by calling them tenant, we say that we will share the resources, we will pool the resources, and each tenant yet is still not find out or not see practically another tenant's data. And this is, this is what is called multi-tenant applications. Applications are hosted and run and executed on a shared environment. Basically, the underlying hardware is same, but still their data is segregated. Yes, so one person or one group of user, one company will not see data of another user. Why we do that is to basically bring down the cost. When you book a Uber pool, basically you bring down the cost. The experience here is that you subscribe to the service and in return you will receive a URL. 
and you can use this URL to access the service. So this is one important thing that when you subscribe and there is a subscription, you will get a URL for that service. And using URL, you will access that service. It's always fixed. You'll, you're going to get a URL for sure. Now, opening that URL brings you a web application which you can leverage uh, to access the service. This is how other software as a service applications like SuccessFactor or S4 Cloud work as well. Or if you heard about Analytics Cloud, yes. So these are all basically the subscriptions. So you subscribe to a service and you get a URL and you access that service. They are also uh, enabled at a sub account level and they are independent of the environment. So these uh, these are independent of the environment and you don't need to have Cloud Foundry enabled to subscribe to these services. For example, if you talk about developer perspective, the services like SAP Launchpad service, SAP Workflow Management service, or SAP Business Rules service. These are all the services which you will get a application to access and you can model something inside. Like, uh, like Launchpad service, you can create a site. You can add tiles over there. So these are the subscriptions. So these examples are business application studio, cloud integration, process automation. These are all the examples of subscriptions. And whenever you go to your BTP account, you can see them separately. Then comes this instance based services. These are purest form of service. They provide a specific functionality like database, connectivity, authentication. You can connect your application to them to leverage the functionality. So suppose I plan to develop an application which you need to store data. So the first thing I will do is I will create a instance of HANA service and then I will bind that HANA service to my application. So these are also called as backing services. So when you create instance, you create an instance of a backing service. These services, you don't, these services don't provide any UI to manage them. Instead, they rely on the APIs to connect to the applications and to the other services which, which which they provide so they are provisioned inside an environment this is very important so they are environment specific so you cannot run a service outside environment but this is a major difference between subscription and instance based services so subscription can run independent of environment but instance based services cannot yeah so they are always specific to environment so when you use the uh, each environment has its own organization. Like, for example, if you're using Cloud Foundry environment, then these instances are created un under spaces. Space is the, the actual uh, runtime memory where the services are created and managed. So you will have a space quota. You cannot exceed that quota. And that's chargeable. Based on that, your billing will happen. And then you have schema instances. Schema instances are created inside a namespace so now i'm quickly going to go to the system and quickly show you this difference between the different service and environments so what i will force do is i will go to sap btp account and i will log into my btp trial account and you can see sap btp cockpit is loading and now if you go to your trial account you will see over here your sub account and inside this, you will see that we have environment. So we have color Cloud Foundry environment and we have Kima environment. So currently, um, yes, these are the two environments as a tabs. And if you see Cloud Foundry environment is over here, we need to enable it at the beginning. And you see something called a space, create a space. So it's managed inside space. If you go to Kima environment, we not enable this environment at the moment. But if you enable, you will see a namespace concept over there. Then we also have the ABAP environment. So these are the three environments which I was telling you about. Now coming to the services and subscription, you can see them here. Instances and subscriptions. So a subscription is basically an application. You see, it's an application like integration suit. Business Application Studio, Launchpad Service, Workflow Management. These are all applications and they give you a URL to open. So for example, if I open this app, this uh, subscription, then it'll open a URL for this software as a service application where I can develop a Launchpad site as, as a website. If I open the Workflow Management Service, I'll get multiple applications related to workflow like uh, process extensibility, process visibility, 
mind box application so there are multiple applications inside these subscriptions yes then business application studio is also a subscription many time when i take interviews i will ask in uh, the candidates what is bass is it a service or is it a subscription and you know many many people give a wrong answer they will say it's an instance it's not an instance it's a subscription because it gives a url which you can open these are independent of environment so if you not enable cloud foundry still you can run business application studio now coming to the instance based services you can see them here instances so these are the instances of my existing services which are running and you can see they are always corresponding to an environment so all these are running corresponding to cloud foundry and they have these instances are always created under a space called dev space here in this case it's a scope yeah now how do you start a how do you start a uh, service instance so th for that you need to go to service marketplace and you need to think about or think about or uh, you know see which service you really want to use for example i would like to use hana service so i can search for hana and then i can see this hana service and then i can just uh, create a new instance of this hana service if i want to search for workflow you can see workflow i can come here and i can create a new instance for the workflow service these are different services you can click on the service and you can also see the detail about the service over here and then you can also jump in hop in into the documentation about that service so what is this service is all about you can see here these are these are the offerings of that service of course we'll we'll go more in detail as and when we progress in our training so now let's talk about when you create a fresh btp account how exactly it's created and how exactly you are charged for the same yes.